Everybody, welcome to my usual me, and welcome back to Last Oasis. Okay, guys, this is going to be a resource video on the very beginning resources you're going to need when you get started in Last Oasis. Now, uh, there's going to be more advanced re resources out there. You're going to get more resources from using tools to gather than you are by hand. I'm just going to show you how to gather them by hand right quick and with the basic tools, and then you can go from there. Um, so mind you, as soon as you can get tools, get tools. As soon as you can get your stations, get your stations, because you're going to be able to make things with your crafting stations that you're not going to be able to make, you're not going to be able to gather out in the world, or you're going to get it from drops, but it's going to be so much quicker for you to just make your your stations and make those items, and I'll show you those some of those basic stations here at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. All right, guys, fiber and wood right off the bat are going to be your first two resources you're going to want to get. Fiber right here are going to be any of these bushes. Just harvest them up. They're going to be one um, one fiber a piece. If you use a, uh, a sickle, it's going to be a sickle or a, sickle or a scythe. It's going to be a more. Uh, okay, so as far as wood goes, oh, and there's going to be other fiber plants out there too. So as you're picking new, uh, go, if you see something new, pick it. You might get a new resource. So it might be fiber. So it wood. There's a piece of wood right here on the ground. You can pick these up. All right. Now that's all well and good. But any of the trees are going to give you wood as well. Let me break out. This is a, a little bit more advanced hatchet that I've got. So it's going, to give, it's going to give me more wood than normal. But you're going to have to, you're going to have to go ahead and, and gather wood with a hatchet. And with the palm trees, that's where you're going to get your palm leaves as well. If you didn't know that that wasn't very obvious to you, um, you're obviously not going to get uh, palm leaves from a, a conifer tree over here. But you will get wood as well. So wood right here. There you go. There's your wood. As far as stones go, you can pick up stones off the ground. You can harvest stones. My inventory is full. I'm going to drop some stuff right quick. So in the beginning, you're going to be running around. You're going to be gathering stones off the ground. And then once you get yourself a pickaxe, like I've got right here in my hand, once you get yourself a pickaxe, you're going to be able to break down those larger rocks. Now, you can't get a pickaxe right off the bat. It's actually something you're going to have to learn later on. So, you know, get those get those shards as fast as you can, because or those fragments as fast as you can, because you're going to want to go ahead and learn as much as you can as fast as you can. And I'll go ahead and make a video on, on fragments here in a little bit. But once you have a pick, you're going to be able to go ahead, and once you have a pickaxe, you can go ahead and you're going to get, like, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 stone out, off of a rock. It'll depend on the size of the rock, I think. But you're gonna. This is definitely a tool you want to get as early as you can get it because picking up as many stone as you need is a big pain in the butt. Rupu. Now, other things you're gonna be able to pick up. You're gonna be able to pick up like fiber, fiber weave. You're gonna be able to pick up the fragments. You're gonna be able to pick up all kind of fruit or rupu pelt. These basic rupu are actually really super easy to kill. Uh, so those are the ones I would go after really early on as you get more more advanced Rupu uh, that are coming at you If you're not good at blocking if you're not good at um, if you're not good at attacking Then uh, I would just stick with these little guys to start. Uh, they're gonna give you enough basic resources to uh, To get you going, but uh, don't rely on Rupu drops if you rely on Rupu drops You're gonna be very very disappointed All right speaking of Rupu the uh, Rupu vines and the Rupu pelts. Now, the Rupu pelts you get from, from killing Rupu. The Rupu vines are actually in their villages, and you can see them hanging down from the, uh, from the houses that are hanging out. See that green right there against that dark on this house? I'm going to just run in here right quick, and we're going to run back out. That is where you get your Rupu vines, right there. So you're going to have to jump up, and you're going to go ahead and have to... Uh, the easiest way to do this is to go like that and then just zip line up and then you can just harvest these uh, this greenery right here. That's what it looks like. That's where you get your Rupu vines. Now you can use a sickle and you can get more out of it, but if you harvest it, you're going to get like two, three, something like that. Don't forget when you're up in here, go ahead and if you have to hit, you might have to hit crouch and do an overhead swing. Get these pots and then once you break these pots out, I have a better axe, only took one hit. You might take you two or three hits to break them open. You're going to get things like wood, stone, fiber, basic resources in these pots that are around in the Rupu villages. So if you're, if you're fast, if, you're, if you use your, uh, use your head and you use your grappling hook, you can actually get in and out of these Rupu, Rupu villages without having to kill all of them. So it makes it a lot quicker. You want Rupu gel. You have to investigate this. It takes a minute. This tall tower looking thing, this is how you get Rupu gel. Okay, and you got, I got a fragment too. So you're going to get fragments and Rupu gel from that. Cactus. We're going to talk about cactus next as soon as I get away from this Rupu village. 
All right, there's, a, there's four different types of cactus. Well, it's three. Well, aloe vera is kind of a cactus, but um, but aloe vera is one of the one of the water sources that you're going to get early on. Uh, I only eat right now. I only eat aloe vera. I don't bother boiling water for my my personal water. I, aloe vera is your friend. This uh, the the the, uh, the aloe vera without being processed. You look at my water on the left hand side. One, two, three, four, and I was half down. So about eight will give you get you all the way full. And I always carry a good stack of aloe vera on me for the for the, uh, for being parched because you want to go ahead and you want to uh, keep your water up because as soon as your water drops all the way down obviously you're going to um you're going to start losing stamina and you're going to start losing health all right so then but as far as the rest of the cactuses go this tall cactus right here will give you cactus fruit you're going to go ahead and we're going to i mean you go ahead and get close here and grapple up try to grapple as, as close as i can to that creature hit e to zip up and then f will harvest the, the cactus fruit and then Q to go down, middle mouse button to attach and detach. We attack this, we're going to get cactus from this. These are big trees, so it should give a good amount of cactus flesh. 19. It's not really a lot, though. Also, the saguaro looking cactuses that are over here that you saw. Now, it's still PvP here, so these guys are trying to attack me. The saguaro cactuses will give you cactus as well. Are we, uh, and then I'm going to show you the, um, oh, he's collecting. He wasn't trying to attack me. He's just harvesting. And if you go down into the valleys here, guys, you're going to find the third type of cactus or the fourth if you consider the uh, aloe vera a cactus um, down in these ravines. Now, these are what they call the chasms. If you look at these green areas, these are what they call the chasms. And every island here in the desert has at least one of these chasms. This is very, very rich in resources, so you're going to want to come down in here. Uh, a lot of, but be careful because once you get down in here, you might be trapped by other tribes that are down here doing the same thing you're doing. So, be very, very aware. Be very careful. This PvP game can get dangerous right quick. Think of it like Rust. We're going to try to find one of the big round cactuses. If there's one down in here, there should be. There's not enough people. This is at the tail ends of the creator server being up. I'm at the last two hours, so I'm trying to get this video out before they shut the the, uh, the server down. So uh, there's not a lot of people playing right now. So I waited until now to make this video. So you guys can have it for launch tomorrow, or well today. All right, there's a Rupu village. I'm looking. It was one of the cactuses I was talking about, but it's really close to the Rupu village. I don't want to get in on that. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to it and we get close to it. Hopefully, I don't aggro these guys. I don't feel like fighting them is why. All right, so this is the other type of cactus. Looks like I might get lucky. And then when you get break into them, now inside of these, you're, they're going to have seeds. I mean, it, let me see if I can grab a seed right quick. So as you, if you, if you, if you destroy the inside, you're going to destroy the whole thing. But if you, you, there we go. Harvest this. They also have thorn berries. Now thorn berries give you where is it here it is thornberry gives you 23 water right off the bat whereas a an aloe will give you 12 water so this is really good water but the, I mean, if you get down here and get these thornberries if you want to carry a stack of those um aloe is a lot more prevalent so it's not that big a deal but this is these big cactuses that's the third type of cactus you're going to find but once you once you destroy the middle the whole thing will collapse so let me go ahead and just show you the whole thing will collapse. You want to do the outside before you do before you destroy the middle. Now you can eat this cactus like it is, or you can use your uh, you can use your your fireplace here to uh, transfer and make it and make the stuff into. Don't mind, don't mind those cattails. You can turn this stuff into water this way. So once you get the purified water icon, the skill, you can actually purify water from aloe vera from cactus flesh, from the contaminated water, which is down here in this chasm as well, you'll find water sources that uh, has contaminated water. You're going to be able to turn it into purified water if you have sand, uh, which it provides by the ground, so you're going to have to actually be standing on sand to do that, or you're going to have to put the fireplace, I think you have to put the fireplace on the ground to actually do that. And then you can also do it with you know, contaminated water, yeah. There's two different ways. So you can actually do it without the sand or with the sand. If you do it with the sand, 10 will give you 20. If you do it without the sand, 5 will give you 1. 
All right, down in the chasms here, guys, you're also going to find uh, mushrooms. This is what the mushrooms look like in the game. Uh, as you attack them, uh, you're going to get mushroom flesh, which is great. But I'm using a better hatchet, so I'm also getting sulfur. Okay, so if you're looking for sulfur, you, if you're using a base hatchet, you're not going to get sulfur from attacking it. I am, but once you, can, once you destroy it, a gas will come up, and you should get a prompt to collect sulfur from the gas. Oh, and mind you, the cactus is not the only thing that's going to give water, right? Blood turnips. When this is, I got this from the hard, the hard biome. Uh, th that'll give me 12 water, but it also takes away some health. Um, you can drink contaminated water, but it also lose, you'll make you lose health. I also had apples. I found those will give you health. And also, if you see in my in, in my in my campfire, there were bugs I got from the swamp in the hard zone. And those you, will give you water as well, but they also drop your health. So anyway, if you see there's this cloud of gas, if I jump up, it says harvest. Ah, it's not letting me. I could probably stand on my walker and actually get it. Get mushroom and sulfur. Try to catch that gas if you can. There you go. You got a little extra sulfur there. So I've talked a little bit about contaminated water in, in, the, in the swamps that are in the heart of biomes and then the chasms here in the desert biomes. We're gonna. I'm gonna show you the um, where you're gonna find cattails, and they're gonna they're gonna grow in contaminated water, which is gonna be down here. Okay, here's a little patch. There's usually a bigger patch. Now I don't necessarily want to deal with these rupu right now because they're gonna be a pain in my butt. But if you go down here. Looks like I'm gonna get an eclipse eclipse here in a second, so it's gonna be kind of hard to see. But um, if I break out my if I break out my sickle, a simple sickle here, uh, you can actually, if you, by the way, if you're harvesting by hand, if you can harvest something by hand, you can get one, right? But if you use your middle mouse button and you can harvest it, if you can't harvest it for some reason uh, with, your, with your sickle, you can move back and forth between the hand harvesting and the, and, the, and the tool harvesting. If you can't figure out how to do that, that's how you do it, your middle mouse button. You're gonna get like four or five per, with your sickle, so you're always going to get more with your with your tools, and your and the better the tool, the more you're going to get, and the more chance you're going to get for a rare resource. Also, with stones, I almost forgot to say, if you're looking for earth wax, if you're looking for earth wax, if you have a better pick, which I only have the basic pick right now, um, I've gotten earth wax from attacking stones, but that's very very rare. Super rare to get earth wax from stones. The higher tier picks, I'm expecting you're going to see. Uh, you know, a couple every now and again, but you really you need the stomping station to be able to uh, make earth wax. So that's so if you're looking for earth wax, guys, you're not going to find it for the most part. Occasionally, you'll find one in a stone, but it's not very common. It's very super rare. I mean, I've been playing the game for two days and I found one earth wax. So if you're looking for earth wax, you're going to need the stomping station. And I don't have one made, but I'm going to show you the rest of the stations here at the end of the video, so you can get an idea of what you can do with them. All right, guys, the last two uh, resources I'm going to show you today are the hide and bone fragments. So let's go ahead and let's go whoop, let's go back into my let's go get my at my hatchet back out. Hide is you know, these these pink cats right here. These are the ones you have to kill these things. I know they're cute, but you have to kill them to get hide. It's the only way you're going to find hide, guys. Okay, if it actually will let me. Overhand swing is usually how I, how I see. This is these guys are really hard to hit. As far as, I mean, they need their hitbox a little bit bigger. They're really super hard to hit. Okay, these guys are need to work. They definitely need to work on the models of these creatures, but this is where you get your hide. Some of the stuff, this is early access, guys, so be aware. Some of the stuff is, uh, there we go. There's a hide. The hitbox is a little wonky. They need to fix this, like, bad. There we go. I got, uh, wait, how, how much hide did I just get? Seven? No, nah, well, I had two on me, probably. So I got either five or seven. You're going to get about three if you're using a basic axe. You're going to get between three and four. Now, the bone fragments themselves, it's, they're not, not obvious, but once you see them, you can never unsee them. These are mammoth tusk-looking things that come are out of the ground. You'll see them sticking out of mountains. You'll see them everywhere. And they have little, like, little eroded uh, patterns on them or whatever. It looks like a mammoth tusk. Or So just hit them with an axe. You, you know, if, with a basic axe, you're going to get five. You can get more with, uh, with, with, a, with a higher quality axe. So a higher, a higher tier axe is going to give you more, but your base is going to be five. So that's where you get your bone splinters from. Oh, wait. And the, other, the last one, guys, 
are your wooden shafts. And uh, wooden shafts will be dropped by Rupu when you kill them, but that is a very inefficient way of getting your wooden shafts. Let me go ahead and show you the stations now, and I'll show you how to make your wooden, wooden shafts right quick so that it makes your life a hell of a lot easier. Okay, guys, I'm here on my dinghy walker right here, and I'm gonna, I've got some stations that right set down here to start. Always, by the way, guys, always have... Always have a uh, a fireplace on your on your station because you're gonna you're gonna need you're gonna need to be making water on a regular basis. You need water to travel. You need water to uh, to drink, and so you know you're gonna need water in your in your station or in your in your walker to be able to travel from one biome to another, from one one one, one node to another. You need water. So make sure you have as much water as you as you can hold. Obviously, I have not done that. Do as I say, not as I do. Uh, but also uh, water, you get 16 water for every water that you, you drink and you can just right click from any water source that is already been made, whether it be from your walker or from your fire fireplace, you can go ahead and you can just drink water that way if you need to. So you know, that's, you know, I, I forgot to say that. Also, if you have, um, if you have a water container, um, a, a bottle, the bottles, guys, the, the, the more bottles that you have or the, the better bottle you have, the more it will hold. The improvised bottle holds 20, but your basic bottle that you can create, which is the makeshift bottle, holds five. So once you get the improvised bottle, it can hold 20. I've, I've, I haven't made any. I've just found these out as loot out in the desert. So if you find the improvised bottle, switch it out for your makeshift bottle right away. And also, when you have that, you passively will drink the water. You don't have to worry about drinking the water. Um, and, and so when you start getting low, you, you won't do it when you're, like, when you're like down a little bit. Like when you get down um, you're probably to a third or something, it'll start drinking the water that's in your, in your bottle, and you don't have to even worry about it. So you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't go get dehydrated unless you run out of water in your, in your bottle. So that's something very important for you to remember because uh, that's very important. All right, so wood shafts, guys, wood shafts. You can get them off of Rupu, and in the beginning, you're going to say, hey, man, I got it like three or I got five. It's really good. But you use so many wood shafts, guys, you want this woodworking station right here. See that, okay? And it's going to take uh, five wood and two fiber to make one wood shaft. I'm telling you, you're going to need wood shafts, so you may as well build this thing as fast as you can. These three stations right now, under the crafting tree right here, guys, in the direct middle, um, you're going to want your campfire. That's the most important one. You're going to want your, your fiber working station. And then you're going to want to learn fiber weave and then eventually rope. And then after you get your fireplace, you're going to want to make purified water so you can make all the different types of water because when it starts, you're only able to make water out of cactus, not out of aloe vera, not out of contaminated water. You're gonna, you, so you're going to want to learn this uh, purified water uh, icon as soon as you can. And then you're also going to want the woodworking station, and you're going to have to learn wood shafts because, the, because wood shafts are super, super important. You use them in tools, use them in everything. So you're going to want to make sure you have that. Down the road, you're going to want an advanced woodworking station, but for that, you're going to need tablets, and tablets are made from fragments that you make in a station on one of the hard biomes there's a giant temple that you're going to look for and it's going to be a place of interest when you first show up and that'll it'll guide you on the map exactly where to find it i'll show you that in a future in a future episode as well so stay tuned for that video because that video will be coming up but that's not first day stuff that's a more advanced stuff you don't have to worry about that on your first day well you might if you're in a big clan you might burn through this really quickly so it's very possible and you can also um make fragments later on uh, out of uh, shattered fragments and glass. That's more advanced stuff. And for earthwax, guys, you're going to need to get the soil excavator. You're going to need to learn earthwax, and you're going to need the stomping station. You need all of that so you can make your earthwax. That's, gonna ha that's how you're going to get your earthwax. So if you're looking for earthwax, guys, right off the bat, that's how you're going to have to do it. Uh, I mean, you might, like I said, you might find some in stones, but it's going to be super rare and super hard to come by. Also, guys, talking about earthwax, it reminded me that I almost forgot beeswax. Beeswax actually looks like this, and it looks like a beehive that you're gonna you would normally see, and you're gonna hear a buzzing whenever there was one around. You know, you're gonna I found most of mine in the conifer trees that were in the hard biome, and so if you're looking for beeswax, you're gonna want to go ahead. And you're gonna have to actually use your grappling hook to get to the top of the tree and collect it that way. But I also saw one on somebody's stream that was actually in a Rupu village uh, on one of the walls, the short walls, the retainer walls that they 
They put together look like giant bushes. I saw one in there and I brought it to her attention and I was like, that's a beehive. You can get beeswax from it. So look, I mean, that was on the medium biomes. So they're not only on the hard biomes, they're on the medium biomes, but they're really rare there. So you're probably going to have to go to the hard biomes. And then they were everywhere in the hard biome when I was there on my live stream. So if you go to my my last live stream and go toward the end, when I go to the hard biome, I, I collect a bunch of the beehives or I collect a beehive there. So and I get beeswax that way. So you know, go check that out. It's toward the end. I don't know exactly the timestamp for that, but uh, but yeah. But this is what they look like, and uh, and they're really easy to gather. You don't get stung or anything. It doesn't hurt you. So beeswax is easy to get, but it's kind of hard to find unless you go to a hard biome. In which case, uh, when there's a lot of conifer trees, you're gonna see a lot of these. Okay, guys, so that's a basic guide to your basic resources for your very first day in Last Oasis. I hope this helped you out. If it did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.